Today's the day. Today's the day! Today's the day? Today's the day! Today's the day! Tokusetsu! Rick! Today's the day! Oh, hey, but what is today, though? Today's the day you learn how to use Forza Painter. I will link everything in the description that you need, uh, including, including Forza Painter. But I'm guessing you've already got it if you're at this point. If not, or if you're just running into issues, well, then watch the whole thing. Go to code, download zip. Zip downloaded. Open it up. Don't buy WinRAR. Or do. That's your personal preference, I guess. Drag it out of the zip. Done. Most of the stuff that you need, if not all the stuff that you need, is in the can, so to speak. Now, everything you need is in here to make it work. That's at a base level, though. Ideally, you'll want to do something to your images before you actually uh, do something. Now, I've just opened up a tool called Riot, Radical Image Optimization Tool. You'll find a link for that in the description as well. Now, I've already optimized the image that I'm going to use to show you, but for demonstration purposes, well, best show you how to use it. So, drag an image into the left, image goes in, optimized image comes out on the right-hand side. You'll see the comparison up top. Uh, 921 kilobytes is now optimized down to 888. You can reduce the amount of colors that's used, all that kind of fun stuff. You can run this through multiple times if you want and get optimization after optimization until eventually you hit a, a plateau and you can't actually do anything with it anymore. Save your image. It'll ask you if you want to compress it more. Obviously, you're going to want to, but I'm not going to bother with that just at the moment because this is purely for demonstration purposes. Alright, so I've saved over my optimized image with a further optimized image. Now, you've optimized your image, you've got a PNG file with a transparent background. You'll drag your image over to Forza Painter, you'll hit yes. It'll open up this window. Now, if you just, if you just open Forza Painter and you're not actually using an image, it won't do anything. You'll see just there it opened and closed. No, you want to drag the image over to Forza Painter, drop it on the EXE. Select a setting. In this case, I'm just going to hit number 3, balanced in good quality, speed, etc, etc. It'll just start running. You can close this when you're happy with the preview that you see, and obviously the preview is not going to look uh, quite as, let's say, sharp as that just did. Um, but yeah, you will see a rough idea of where the image is, uh, where, the, where the shapes and stuff are being dragged in by the program to create your image. Now this process will generate JSON files in the same folder as your source image. So if you want to keep it all organized, you can do your projects in separate folders to each other and that'll keep all of your stuff categorized and with its, with its own people. Let's just call it that. So I'm just going to close this because I don't have the time or the disk space to record the whole thing and time lapse it, as cool as that'd be. But uh, you've got your JSON files and all that kind of fun stuff. This is where you're at. You you are almost you're almost at the livery created point now. Vinyl group editor, not the big not the big one that you'll see in the middle. Uh, I'm just going to slap an image over the top of this one in the video, I think, and just you know big tick, big cross in the things that are relevant there, but uh, I've already got a pre-saved livery group that I've just named Forza 3K or something along those lines. Now, when you've got that in there, you want to make sure that everything's ungrouped. Now, I've just got 3,000 circles. Um, I would say that you can use whatever shape you want, but I'm probably lying, so just put circles in there to be safe, yeah? Now, 3,000 ungrouped circles in the vinyl group editor very important that I make that differentiation. There's a few people that don't quite make that differentiation. They have a bad time and it's not readily apparent to some people when they answer questions in the Discord and it's... Uh, we've seen it a couple of times and yeah, it's just one of those things. Just don't do it that way. Just do it this way. That's the whole point of the tutorial anyway. Right. Same thing with the JSON file as what you did with the image. Pick the amount of layers you want to use. So you'll see the number at the end of every name here. 200, 300, 350, etc, etc, all the way through to 3000. Now this one here without a number, 
that'll be saving the progress that you made based on whenever you closed the program, if you did so before 3000. If you let it run to 3000, these two files, their contents, are going to be identical. Now, I don't recommend using all 3000 layers just because that leaves no room for you to do anything else with your livery. I'm going to start with 2000 layers just because there's a little cheat that I want to show you. Cheat's probably the wrong word. Um, more of a convenience thing. Um, I'm going to show you something after this. So see here, it says done. You can now close this window. This window here, when you're, when you're putting the JSO in in game, don't close that one prematurely. You'll have a bad time. Wait until the blue text tells you you can do stuff. All right. You'll notice that uh, our good friend Shiagorath is now in game. You're going to have a bunch of leftover stuff here. You can just go through, select them all, and um, delete them. But uh, I'm not going to do that just yet, because if you're not happy with the quality that you get, you can actually just leave it the way it is. As long as you've got enough circles put in there, you say, oh, you know what? I don't like 2,000 layers. I want to try 2,500. You don't have to close. You don't have to close this. What you can do is you can just pick a higher number of layers. In this case, I'm just going to grab 2,750, drag it over there, do exactly what you just did before and it'll just move all the existing layers and all that kind of thing that you've got done, you can close the window and the quality will have improved. You'll have used more layers but you'll still want to go through and get rid of any number of circles that you didn't plan on using so you can get rid of that, that's just this stuff stacked up. That's it, your image is in game, you've now got a livery, that's all you really needed to know. Um, optimize your images first. Do the doctoring. Spend some time in Photoshop. I can't stress enough how important it is and how much benefit you will gain by spending some time in Photoshop and cleaning your images up. Get rid of stray pixels and individual hairs and stuff coming out from whatever waifu you might be processing. Uh, like you'll see over here in the very very corner here where the mouse is at, you'll see that stray hair that, as you can see, took one, two, three, four, five, six or so shapes all on its own. Uh, you could cut that out there and those six shapes could go anywhere else for more detail. And yes, he looks a bit rough, but uh, when you scale that down, you put that on the side of a car, no one's going to be... Unless they're up in up in Shiogorath's grill here with the uh, photo mode, they wouldn't even know he was made with nothing but circles. And that's the beauty of this tool, is that uh, it's it tricks the human eye, and it's utterly brilliant. Obviously, we would prefer to have a game that's got a more recent livery editor than 2007, but that's not the case here, and that's why people want this tool. Uh, ideally, we'd just be able to import some images and stuff, and, you know... Just keep it within the terms of service, though. If there's one thing I can recommend when using this tool, keep it within the terms of service. If you like using the tool, don't give them a reason to take it away from us. Having said that, happy editing. If you need to ask questions or whatever, you can find a link to the Discord in the GitHub page that you got Forza Painter from. In fact, I can show you that. Just go in there. Right here. Please ask for help on the Discord. We encourage that. We are a community. Uh, we like to support each other. And we are relatively friendly. At least I like to think so. So, don't be shy. Jump on in. Show us what you're creating. Have fun. Thank you very much for watching. And, yeah, that's just about all there is to it.